एम सी यू और मैक्सिमम ट्रांसमिशन यूनिट सो इन नेटवर्किंग दिस इज अ वेरी स्मॉल बट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ओके सो यू सी अ ट्रक नाउ देर इज अ पैसेज दैट इज द हाइट विच अलाउज अ पर्टिकुलर साइज और हाइट व्हीकल टू पास थ्रू बट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस बिकॉज द हाइट ऑफ द व्हीकल इज हायर देन दैट हाइट देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम सेम विद द पैकेट पैकेट हैज टू गो एवरीवेयर and there will be different networks it will encounter from source to destination what is the proper size what is the maximum size this packet should have so that this kind of happening should not happen i mean that there has to be certain size of mtu to reach from source to destination without any problem okay now you see an example here also now packet has an mtu or a size of 1500 now in this case there is a there is a passage where the mtu allowed is only 1200 this 1500 mtu will not be able to go this is in bytes okay there are there is 300 extra so it will come back or it will be resend this packet will be divided and divided such that only a value which is lower than 1200 can go okay that is the content that is the payload so maximum transmission unit or mtu this term is not only used in networking but also in operating system so this mtu is defining the largest size of a packet that is the higher side of the packet that can be transmitted as a single entity as a packet in a network connection mtu as i said is measured in bytes but the value is not fixed it totally depends on the network technology being used 1500 1500 means we are talking about ethernet so as i just suggested this network can have any kind of technology in between so if you are able to send 1500 byte on ethernet it is possible okay but the 1500 is the typical size of ethernet network mtu but for a wan technology it will be 9000 bytes or higher so you just saw a truck right so unlike this unlike this truck data packets that will exceed the size of mtu they have to be divided into pieces or they are to be broken up into smaller chunks or pieces so that they can actually fit through and pass on through all the network so in this case which you just saw 1500 there is a blockage or there is a point where 1200 only can pass so we'll divide this 1500 into say two parts 750 750 and since 750 is lower than 1200 there will be no problem this process this kind of way is called as fragmentation and this fragmentation when these packets will be sent these two packets 750 750 these fragmented packets will reassemble once they reach the final destination so mtu is all about the maximum size of packet that can pass through the network connection as a single entity i'll give you one more aspect of this see maximum seg segment size has to be talked with mtu and mtu has to be talked with maximum segment size maximum segment size is the payload is the content it has which has to go from one place to another now the every layer at certain uh, you know trailer and header that is you can say an overweight so 14 1460 plus 20 is 1480 1480 plus 20 from the network layer again it becomes 1500 so this 1500 payload is actual mtu ms is is 1460 when you combined all the layer uh, overheads that will become a payload and that is called the mtu now talking about the different layers osi layer or tcp ip mtu is the largest size of the content or the packet which can be sent from source to destination without any problem passing through all the different network technologies in the network so mtu is all always almost always is used in reference to layer 3 packets which is the network layer here 
or packets that are using the IP, which is the internet protocol. So MTU measures the packet as a whole, not just the content, it also includes the headers. So you see here, MTU is actually the payload, that is the content, plus TCP header, plus IP header. So a data packet is total, is total as a MTU, because MSS is just the payload, which is only 1460 in this case. When you add 2020 TCP header and IP header, that becomes MTU. So the, this has to include the IP header and the TCP transport control, uh, pro, TCP t transport control protocol header, which usually here in this case adds up to 40 bytes in length. So I hope you have a very good understanding of MSS and MTU. What is the difference between it? So the maximum segment size MSS is the size of the payload in an IP packet, which you see in the figure also. Okay. MSS is the size of the payload that is the content and payload added with the headers it becomes MTU. So it is effectively the most data that senders can transmit without exceeding the MTU because MTU is the highest threshold, highest value or highest largest size of a packet that can pass through source to destination. So how will you find the MSS? MSS can easily be computed by subtracting the header size from the IP MTU. So let us take a very small example here. Let us suppose that the internet TCP, that is the transmission control protocol, specified the size of the MTU as 750 byte. This is just an example. Okay, 750 byte is the maximum M is the MTU. What is MTU? That is the maximum protocol data unit size that can be delivered from one point to another source to de destination. So there are two scenarios here. First scenario is you have a 1600 byte and you have to send it. But the MTU is 750. So the value has to be less than 750. So the best way is to divide this 1600 so that it becomes three parts, three fragments, 750 bytes, 750 bytes, 100 bytes. So 750, 750, 100, they all are less than 750 bytes. So this is called fragmentation. Now there is one more scenario. For example, you have only 600 byte. So you have to just send 600 byte and it is lower than 750 byte. So as a sing single segment, if the system sends packets within MTU size, they are transmitted as a single frame in the network connection. However, packets much smaller than the MTU may increase the delay and cause network inefficiency. Reassembling packets in such a case, in this case 600 byte, is not required. Okay? And in the first part, 1600 byte, there will be problem like, you know, first you have to fragment it, then uh, you have to send them, and then you have to organize them at the destination. So I hope you have a fair idea about MTU now. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.